Hey everybody, welcome home. Shelter in place went into effect tonight and I'm currently in my living room and thought I would try to start your first day without the studio being open with an email in your inbox ready to go so that if you're feeling motivated, you can get your body moving. This is a really just easy, take the stress out of your life, get your morning started, flow, exercise. I don't know, this is super awkward. I'm sitting here filming myself. I think I'll get better as three weeks go on, but I don't have any equipment. Um, any video I upload for you guys, I'm gonna try to use anything I can find around the house so that if you don't have anything at home um, that we would have in the studio, you would still be able to do the exercise and the stretches. So here's goes. here goes nothing. Um, I'm just gonna stand. Feet hip distance apart. Feet grounded. Dig down through your heels, separate your toes. Slide your shoulder blades down your back, reach your arms down towards the floor. I have my palms facing forward to help me rotate my shoulders back and open my chest. Take a big breath in, fill up the lungs. Exhale out through the mouth. On this time, inhale, lift the arms up and overhead. Stretch up to the ceiling, exhale, let the arms float down, drop the shoulders back down your back again. Inhale in through the nose, reach up to the ceiling, grow tall. Pull in the belly, exhale, let it all fall down. One last time, really tall, arms up, shoulders stay heavy away from the ears. Exhale down, beautiful. This time take your arms up, we're gonna keep them there. You're gonna tip your chin to your chest, start to round your body, hollow out your belly. I'll turn to the side so you can see me better. Round your body, rolling down, one vertebra at a time, stretching, rolling. I know we do this in class sometimes, so you know what I'm talking about. You might reach the floor, you might be able to put your hands totally flat. Once you get there, let your head hang. If you've just got out of bed, your hamstrings might be tight, you might be more like here, no matter where you are, keep your belly pulled in to protect your back. Take a breath, big inhale, exhale, start to roll yourself up, dig through your heels, find the backs of your thighs, keep your upper body dead, but just like bridging on the reformer, move one vertebra at a time, roll through the spine and then roll the shoulders back. Let's go again, arms go overhead, big inhale, up. Exhale, tip your chin to your chest, Start to roll down, dive down, rounding, scooping out the belly, one vertebra at a time, lengthening through the spine, the back, the backs of the legs, reaching down towards your shins, the floor, flattening your hands if that's reachable. Take a big breath. Just relax, just hang, just breathe. I'm gonna have you walk your hands out to a plank position. Your heels will lift. I'll scooch back. Hopefully you can see me. I'm going to start running into toys soon. There are toys behind me. I'm in a plank position. Elbows are soft and the insides of my elbows are pointed forward. You can see that I'm in a nice plank position. There's one line from my shoulders to my hips to my heels. Just breathe while you're here. The same breathing we've been doing in through the nose, out through the mouth, as I exhale, I pull my abs up and in. I push back through my heels. I can feel my pecs, my lats, my triceps, my back, my inner thighs, my core, my intercostals. Everything is working. As I flex my feet, as I press back through my heels and lengthen through the backs of my legs, I can feel my hamstrings kick in, my calves. Now let's start to move. Take one knee in towards your belly button, place it back. It's very slow. Notice how my upper body doesn't change. My hips don't sink. One leg, then the other. Breathe as you move. I know this is like monkey see, monkey do. I can't see you. I don't know if you're doing it wrong. Please stop and take a break if anything ever doesn't feel right. One more, downward dog. Press back into your heels. 
pushing your weight in here, feet away from your hands, hips up to the ceiling, and walk your feet forward to meet your hands, round your body one vertebra at a time. Your head is last. Shoulders roll back, stand nice and tall. Our feet are still hip distance. We're gonna go into some squats. Reach the arms forward as you sit back into your heels. Your body's pitching forward. My back stays flat. My belly stays in. Trying to keep your knees over your ankles and not let your knees buckle in towards each other. Two more. Last one, hold. Sink into your heels. Like you're about to sit into a chair and it's just a little bit shorter than you thought. You're reaching for it. Reach back. Reach the arms forward. Wiggle your toes. Get your weight out of your toes. Back into your heels. Pulse five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Take one foot forward, one foot back. My heel is lifted. Stagger your feet. Get even wider than you think you need to. I have something to hold on to next to me, but you don't need it. You can balance, hands on your hips, and lunge. Bend both knees. We're just trying to hit the large muscle groups in the legs. I'm digging through this front leg's heel. I can find that glute. I do feel the thigh in the back leg, but I'm keeping both hips pointed forward. Abs in, down. Now it is St. Patrick's Day. I did just eat a Guinness brownie with Bailey's buttercream frosting. So I am feeling a little bit guilty. I'm a little depressed. I'm really sad that I get to stay home all day tomorrow. I really am. Hold this lunge, two little pulses. Just an inch, just an inch. I really love going to the studio and seeing you guys every day. I know I help you have a better day and you all definitely help me have a better day. Come on up, just turn around. Pivoting your feet, you'll be right on the other side. My back heel is lifted. I'm a nice staggered step. I have something for balance next to me. You can stand next to a chair or your kitchen counter or hands on your hips. Bend both knees down. So some people with bad knees, lunges will bother their knees. You can keep it small, very tiny little lunge. Some people like to touch their knee to the floor. My knees don't like that. I find somewhere right in the middle. You could always go back to the squats if that feels better or just fast forward. Couple more, abs in, hips pointed forward, hold it down, little pulses. Digging through this front heel. I almost like to lift those toes to make sure my weight's back in the heel. Firing that glute. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one, stand up, come back together. Arms out to the side, you can stand comfortably. Let me scooch back if you can see both my hands. Palms up, palms down. I'm just rotating up, down, up, down, up, down. Abs in, just stand tall. Give your thighs a little break, just the arms. Imagine you have softballs in each hand. You're gripping the softball, you're holding them out wide. You're just rotating up, down, up, down. One more. Good job, now flick the wrist. Flick the wrist. The palms are facing away from you. Fingertips stay up, just press, press, press. Pushing away, pushing away. We're like beautiful wings. Five, four, three, 
two, and one, reach the arms out in front of you. Little quick karate chops. They're totally straight. Chop, 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 chop. I feel this in my shoulders, a little bit into my lats. Chop, 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 chop. Again, if you had cans of soup, bottles of water, here's where you could pick them up and use them like weights. Chop, 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 chop. Good. Prayer arms, elbows together, hands together, up and down, lift, lift. I know we do this on the reformer sometimes with the straps around our arms. Prayer pulses, little lift, lift. Pray that this shelter in place, the lift is ordered before April 8th because I'm already bored and it's only been a couple of hours. Five, four, Three, two, one, and done. All right, you guys, that was about 10 minutes of exercise. I think that's better than nothing. I'm still learning where I can film these videos for you in my house and um, figuring out this YouTube thing. So hopefully this works. I will be offering an email subscription where if you opt in, every morning you'll get a little short list of new exercises and stretches to try for that day. And uh, if you don't want to hear from me every day, uh, don't opt in because I will be sending an email every day. But at the same time, check back on this channel because I will be uploading longer length videos or short little spurt videos like this where you could choose a couple of them to do to get your full workout in. Have a good night and we'll talk soon.